Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Boy Warden and welcome to this inbox view. We're going to be taking a look at an FA18F Super Hornet. And this is by Academy, uh, it is in 172nd scale, it is based around the Black Knights as well. So let's take a look inside this kit. Well first off, yes we've got some nice box art. We do have two lovely sets of markings with this kit, which um, we've got as it says on the tin black noise but we also got the red reapers also um, now this kit retails at about 29 pounds 99 so not a bad price for 170 second scale jet um, it was new tooled in 2016 so a relatively nice new tool so let's dive in at the surface detail which is actually rather impressive so yes we do have some gorgeous recessed panel lines recessed rivets and they are rather rather fine as well all right really do like the surface detail on this kit all right as you can see looking absolutely gorgeous show you the rest of that wing section just there bit of a tail section again same level of lovely surface detail going on with that uh, we do have some uh, wheel well doors right a little bit plain on the inside um, but I'm just checking for any nasty ejector pin marks and I'm not seeing any so at least we're not seeing that kind of nasty stuff going on um, we do have um, this little bit of our sort of rear of the fuselage section now it is looking actually rather again nicely detailed as you can see but what we have here is this little bit of a side piece here as um i think it's one of those kind of like three part molds that they bring together and you can kind of tell by we have this bit of flash that kind of goes there and it kind of works its way around along there and all the way to the end um, and that there, I mean, it's not necessarily a major problem. It's just, yes, a bit of a sand back there. Maybe a little bit of rescribing where you've had to sand. Um, does lose a little bit, as you can hopefully see there. Just a little bit of the um, um, recessed panel line does fade a little bit on there. So a little bit of rescribing there, but nothing major. Not bad at all. Um, moving along, we have the bottom part of... We can just focus. There we go. Bottom part of our wing section. All right again, same lovely level of surface detail. Now, if I just bring back our um, the, the top part, what you're going to see is it's going to fit in that kind of a way, right? So yes, there's probably going to be a bit of a join line there to sort of take care of and maybe sort of fill, sand, and scribe just to sort of. I'll let you know um, we do have the cockpit here as well again you know for one same second scale we've got quite a few nice little buttons and and dials going on inside there so that looks pretty pretty cool um, a few of the little bits of nice internal detail as you can see um, is that raised rivets yeah raised rivets where they're due All right very very cool um, moving along again we have our air intakes very nicely no eject pin marks in there so they're all nice and smooth for you to just go straight into it nice bit of landing gear just there um, which does look quite nice and crisp flip it over just checking for eject pin marks which I'm not seeing any any nasty places the flash looks virtually non-existent as well a uh, bit of um, wheel well detail just there. I mean slight bit of detail going on nothing major But you know you could jazz that up um, if you want to do a little bit of scratch building um, We then have our engine exhausts, which I do believe are in the closed position um, You know not bad detail going on with it. You know you could see a bit inside as well You know not too shabby. We do have um, ejector seat, which I do believe there's some little pieces in here which is the rest of the ejector seat just separate on there um, not too bad for the scale um, instrument display panels look actually rather gorgeous definitely for 170 second scale two lovely instrument display panels on there then we have our wheels they're all one piece um, we do have to attach some hubcaps 
the front ones already have them on again looking very well detailed indeed um, moving along we have the lower part of our fuselage section which um, again same lovely level of surface detail um, we do it looks like we do have that bit of a flash line that runs along just there as well so again maybe a little bit of a, a sand um, fill sand and scribe in there as you can see the wheel well detail I mean this is all one piece so that's not bad for the level of detail you got in there same with the nose cone right again we're getting all this kind of like free part mold business so I'm seeing again we've got this little bit of flash that does sort of go around oh sorry you're off camera there does sort of go around across and down there a bit of flash there but also we've got it again and you can see that flash a little bit more clearly there you can just see how that goes all the way around there also it's almost as if they've kind of um, almost taken a 148 scale and sort of joined the pieces for you but yeah a little bit of a fill, uh, sand fill scribe and hopefully it shouldn't be that that bad um, moving along we have um, I won't get these out of the bags we have our um, fuel tanks nice couple of weapons and our um, pylons as well there's a double sprue in there um, and, and they look just pretty much the same as the rest of the kit now what else do we have in here to show you where has the there so now this is one sort of a downer on the kit let's just open it up um, and that is the canopy all right so let's just see how good it is first before I tell you about the little bit of a downer about it um, so let's open this up all right hopefully you can see a very nice we can focus um, very clear crystal clear canopy I am feeling and just seeing you might just be able to see there's a little line running down the middle there which needs to be um, sort of scraped and sanded uh, putting it up to the light I am not seeing any nasties with that at all very nice and clear the downside to it is that is it right you are uh, just limited to a closed canopy only it's just one big piece canopy that's it a um, little bit of a shame if you like to open up your canopies or whatever but then you know it's one seventy second scale uh, for a jet at 30 pounds i suppose it's not too bad but let's have a look at the decals or decals oh by the way you do get canopy masks i, can't, I know you can't see it on camera but you do get them um also does wheels and all sorts as well um, our decals or decals just there um, what you can hopefully see is lots and lots of stuff going on here all sorts of bits of detail uh, does look like we have our instrument display panels although they just look like green screen so you could probably just have painted them green anyway um, but yeah we do have all the colors do look good it does look nicely in registry they are printed by cartograph as well so they are going to be good decals um, nice and easily using microsol and sets should go down really really well real good pleasure to work with those kind of decals uh, but yeah looking rather rather good so just quickly jumping over finally to our instructions just here which we do get two manuals right uh, we'll start off with this one um, kind of standard paper and black and white really cool actually they do give us if i'll bring you in a little bit closer um loads and loads of paint manufacturers and all the different numbers that correspond to um, the colors that are used in this kit so loads to choose from there um, and it does get us started off with um you know kind of like the wing fuselage section top and bottom bringing them together um then we have sort of like the bottom of the fuselage section bringing the wheel wells in there air intakes pretty sort of straightforward landing gear um yes the the tail section is kind of one piece which is potentially not so bad then we get started on the actual cockpit section it does tell you what colors to paint stuff um and where any decals would go as well uh, then we kind of put that into the the front fuselage section and bring that together um 
maybe not seeing any major problems so far with that i mean hopefully it does fit together rather rather well um you know we do have the nose section going in more tail section we do have little tiny decals apparently that are going to go in the exhaust and those exhausts were pretty small so um, that will be a little bit um, fiddly to deal with then we move along with you know simple sort of you know wheel well doors landing gear wheels right then we have like weapons which is nice they show you um, where all they go you know actually the instructions seem pretty straightforward pretty sort of for a jet kind of quick and easy then we have manual two which is in a sort of better shall we say um quality paper and it's in color which does show you where the fuel tanks go um open this up and we do have as you can see you know we've just got um canopy in the closed position and then it does show you where all those canopy masks go as well which is a nice little added touch we then have right if we sort of maybe zoom you out a little bit now we do have the markings for the black knights which is quite nice and clear it just shows you those kind of um the main markings there and the colors that are going on with it um you know really nice good quality sort of nice and clear it then does show you the red reapers as well so another nice little showboat there flip this over and it will show you the um top and bottom sides and then what we have here is just sort of like a common data sheet kind of like all your stencils and where those go as well as the weapons and color call outs and all that good stuff so um actually it just looks like a very cool kit um not a bad price um you know we're talking a nice jet it is 170 second scale but looks really really well detailed i mean there was those kind of bits of flash where they kind of forcefully join like um those extra pieces of plastic together to kind of probably sort of speed up the build maybe um apart from that i mean i didn't really see any major problems i mean yes there is the canopy which is um in the only in the closed position but other than that yeah i think it's a definite big thumbs up and a well recommended kit here at genesis models so until next time as always my name is bob waldron this is genesis models and i hope you've enjoyed